Hello, I'm Cécile Lenné, and today we're going to uh, create a word language ePortfolio using Google Drive. The $1 million question is, why do I need a word language portfolio? Well, there is a national push for teachers to document and show evidence of their students' growth. In Ohio, um, we have a student learning objectives document um, that is doing just that and having a portfolio uh, will be able to support um, the student learning objectives. But there are other reasons why an e-portfolio might come handy. Um, you might use this to show your future students what you expect of them. Say you have a project and this is what I want you to do. Well, the best way to get quality from your students is to show them a model and you could pull it from your ePortfolio. That's just one of the many examples where an ePortfolio would come very handy. The first thing you need to do, you need a Google account. And why Google? Um, I have tested uh, different um, softwares or solutions, um, SkyDrive, LifeBinders, and Evernote. They are great solutions, but I do feel that Google Drive has an edge um, because one, we get 15 gigabytes for free, and that's a big thing when you're a teacher, free 15 gigabytes. And two, uh, you can create a template for your portfolio, and then you can share it with all your students, and your students can use the exact same template. So let's go on Google. If you don't already have a Google account, uh, you will need to sign up. It's pretty easy to sign up. Name, last name, you choose your username, and this will create a Gmail account for you. Your password, birthday, gender. You don't have to enter your phone or your current email address. That is only if, um, you know, if you ever lose your password and you need to retrieve it. You have to prove that you're not a robot. I always have trouble with this part, but hopefully you manage. And then boom, you click next step and you have your Google account. The second thing you want to do is download Google Drive. Now, I want to quickly talk about Google Drive as a whole. When you download Google Drive, it will install a drive or a folder on your computer. You can even install it on any other devices that you have, like, like a smartphone, for example. And it will automatically sync your files in the cloud, basically on a server somewhere at Google, so that other people can access um, those files. Okay? So first thing, we're going to download Google Drive. For this, you need to go under toolsgoogle.com. And you see here, 15 gigabytes of free space. Yippee! So if you click on Google Drive, it will start downloading. It won't take very long. And I've already done it on my computer, so I'm going to show you where it ends up. It ends up under here, Google Drive, OK? Um, and you can start putting here anything you want. I have already added a few things of mine. And next, we're going to talk about adding the portfolio. So step three, you're going to create a template for your students' e-portfolios. You want to create the template uh, on your computer under Google Drive. So here it is. Also notice it has installed a little icon right here. If you click on it, uh, it can open Google Drive folder, which is where I am right now. It can also open the Google Drive on the web. And you would have to log on to do that with your newly created account. So here is my Google Drive on the web. And here is my Google Drive on my computer. So on my computer, you can create a new folder. And what I've done is I've called it first name, last name, novice, mid. Okay, so this will be my level one um, portfolio. And inside, I have three folders interpersonal samples, interpretive samples, and presentational samples. I felt that was the easiest way to store evidence for the students. 
And finally, I have the level one ICANN statements from LinguaFolio that will be also used as proof that my students are indeed growing. So I can have my students fill this out. So that is my portfolio. First name, last name, novice mid. Okay, I have it on my computer. And as soon as I have it on my computer, within minutes, it syncs it up here in the web. First name, last name, novice mid. I'm ready for the next step. The next step has to do with your students. All your students need a Google account and Google Drive installed on their computer, iPhones, whatever they have, Mac. I would recommend you keep a master list of your students' um, Gmail accounts. If your student is not already using Gmail, you probably want to keep a record of their password because guaranteed they will forget. So once all your students have a Google account and they have Google Drive installed, now you can share your template with your students. You can share that portfolio that the students are going to use. Let's go ahead and do that. The sharing portion happens on the web. Okay, So you created your template on your computer. It synced it automatically on the web. The sharing piece happens on the web. If I right click on my portfolio and I click share, it will automatically send a link to people that I choose. And you see I already have shared it with a few people. So I'm going to share it with this great student of mine called Stephen Franklish. Yeah, no, I made it up. At gmail.com. Stephen Franklish at gmail.com. Okay, so I'm going to share it with this person. Boom, it's gone. Now, you're ready for the next step. Your students will copy your template on their Google Drive. So at this point, I'm going to pretend I'm Stephen Franklish. Hello, I'm Stephen Franklish. So I'm going to go to my email. Stephen Franklish goes to his email. And look, there is an email from his teacher. So Stephen opens the email and he sees that I have shared the first name, last name, novice Smith portfolio. Uh, if you click on the link, he will basically see the subfolders for the various samples and the ICANN statements that I've placed for him and for all my students in the template portfolio. So if I go, if Stephen goes in his drive, in his Google Drive, he's also going to see it there. So now we said that they need to copy. Now you may wonder, well, what, why do they need to copy? Well, you don't want them to change this template. This template is yours. You want them to make a copy of this template. To make a copy, they need to go on their computer and simply do a right click, copy, and then a right click paste and when they paste it that's where they're going to say Stephen first name Franklish last name and then novice mid and that's their portfolio that's their portfolio that's the template that everybody's using that's the individual portfolio okay Franklish, not French Glish. Okay. So now they have their portfolio and they can basically fill out the ICANN statements, start putting in samples of conversations that you've recorded in class, um, samples of um, examples that they've understood, a reading that they've done, or samples of presentations that they've made. And once they have samples to share with you, they go back to the web. Remember, the sharing happens on the web. And in my drive, in Stephen Franklish's drive now, I have um, the portfolio that I created. So see, shared with me was the template that I as a teacher shared with Stephen. 
And now I have this uh, Stephen Franklish Novice Mid portfolio. So now Stephen is going to share this back with me so that I have access to his samples. Same process. And share. Done. Now I will have Stephen portfolio and all my students portfolio under my Google Drive and you are done. You pee. If you have any questions or comments, I know this requires a little play around. Uh, you can Google getting started with Google Drive. Um, you can also contact me, my email on Twitter or on my blog. And these are my uh, images credit for the day. Thank you. Au revoir.